we talked last week about Tennessee and uh, what the uh, <laughs> the very unintelligent Republicans were doing over there. Of course, the uh, Tennessee State Rep Justin Jones, Democrat of Nashville. I said that the Republicans were not smart because they uh, overplayed their hand. And they have a supermajority due to gerrymandering. Um, and, you know, that's that's what it is, right? Uh, but they try to silence, try to silence Justin Jones, rep, expelling him from the House last week. Uh, and I said that they elevated this young man. Uh, we would have never known who this young man was. Or, or any of the uh, Tennessee three, if the Republicans in that state did not overplay their hand, expelling the two black members and uh, uh, nearly expelling the white member for doing the same thing. And, and some defenders of the Tennessee Republicans uh, online have said to me, uh, well, she almost got expelled. It was only one vote. So you can't say that that was based on race. I mean, the, the idiotic statements, this is why the Republicans are, are headed in the direction that they're headed because of this type of thinking. So anyway, the expelled Tennessee lawmaker, Justin Jones, who, who along with the other Justin has been Pearson has been making the rounds on the, did the Sunday shows, the national media shows and their presence, their profile, has been elevated nationally. Uh, and here's the thing. They're not only speaking to the black community. <laughs> they were defending, they were defending, you know, the uh, murder of white kids. And different from the message of, a, say, a, a Donald Trump, who's only talking about me, what happened to me? They did this to me. me you know, these guys, uh, the Justins of Tennessee are speaking about the people. They're not personalizing. Even when uh, this unfair expulsion happened, they didn't personalize it. They said it's about we. They're trying to silence us and, and the message. And they were savvy enough to understand what was at stake, to understand the grave mistake that the Tennessee Republicans have made. So one of the ousted Tennessee lawmakers is now heading back to the state house. Justin Jones sworn back into the Tennessee house just days after his expulsion, right? <laughs> Tennessee house expulsion. It was short lived, at least for Justin Jones. So Republicans, what did you get from this? What did you get? Uh, some folks online, you know, on, on, on YouTube uh, saying that because I supported the First Amendment right for the Tennessee Three along with their constituents to peacefully protest, that means that I support insurrection. If you if you understand the the very weak and, and, and flat, just, you know, uh, the lie that the uh, uh, Republican of Tennessee, with their, the, the point they were trying to make, they were trying to equate what happened at the Capitol with these Trump supporters that have been riled up by uh, Donald Trump. They tried to draw a, a, a correlation between that and the peaceful protest, vocal, but peaceful. No, no one was killed. No police officers were uh, uh you know, roughed up and 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 abused. The people weren't threatened. Nothing. It was nothing like what happened at the insurrection, uh, January six. Sore loser Trump supporters. But they tried to. They, they tried to to you know whatever. Uh, but the Tennessee House expulsion, <laughs> short lived. Justin Jones sworn back in today. And, um, you know, he joined, 
He was expelled because he joined a state capitol protest against gun violence in which Tennesseans were killed, murdered. Murdered. Um, it, it is it is amazing. It is amazing when you when you really think about it. Uh, and so uh as Jones was sworn in on the steps of the state capitol, a crowd of supporters were there to cheer him on. Jones, who was the only nominee for the district's open seat, received unanimous support from the council with all 36 members voting to reappoint him as an interim representative for the 52nd district. As the clerk read the, you know, 36 yeas, the council burst into cheers and applause. Jones is the only nominee, as I said, uh, for this district's open seat, and he got unanimous support. So moments after he was reinstalled, Jones joined protesters, many who showed up to support him and marched back to the Tennessee State Capitol to take his oath. Jones and Pearson, who, as I said, are both black, were expelled last week for participating in a demonstration, in a demonstration, a peaceful demonstration calling for gun reform on the House floor after a mass shooting at the private Covenant School in Nashville left three nine-year-old children and three faculty members dead. Of course, their colleague, Rep. Gloria Johnson, Democrat of Knoxville, who also participated in a demonstration, um, managed to keep her seat. Republicans claim that the three lawmakers knowingly and intentionally brought disorder and dishonor to the House of Representatives. They brought dishonor to the, <laughs> to the uh, 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 House of Representatives. Of course, Democrats across this nation have voiced support for these state lawmakers. They have been referred to, no, now known as the Tennessee Three. Vice President Harris traveled to the state last week showing her support for the trio. I'm glad that she did that. I think that the vice president needs to do more to raise her profile. She needs to do more. She does. I don't think she does enough. She needs to do more. Very qualified for the job. Gets a bad rap. Hopefully, she will work on her image. Now, several, several leaders have pointed to the racial undertones of Jones and Pearson's expulsion. Rep. Jones himself said that race played a key role in his removal from the state house. He said this, I basically had a member call me an uppity Negro, he told Joy Reid after the 72-25 vote that expelled him. Ahead of the vote to expel him, Jones vowed to return to the state capitol. And he has done that. Now, Pearson's seat, representing District 86, will be addressed at a special meeting of the Shelby County Board of Commissioners in Memphis on Wednesday. Both Jones and Pearson, if elected, will serve on an interim basis until a special election can be held in the coming months. Both have indicated that they plan to run in the special election. So they got the special election. So, so they're going in the seats temporarily while they're open. And then they're going to run for these seats, these same seats that they were elected to. This is what the Republicans in Tennessee thought was a good idea. What you have done is elevated and given these, these lawmakers the type of exposure that you don't want them to have. Because when you bring light and exposure to the issues, oh, Republicans fall apart. They fall apart on the issues. Why? Because your leaders have misinformed you. Your leaders have led you astray. 
But when, but when these Republicans, when you start looking at the issues, then you're going to start to see that the Lindsey Grahams, the Donald Trumps, the Mitch McConnells, the McCarthy's, they have all led you astray. They've all led you astray. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, of course, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Dominic K Show, of course, on fire dash tv.com is where you go 24 hours we are bringing you news and entertainment on fire dash tv.com click the watch live link and you can see us 24 hours a day streaming right here take a quick break and we'll come back with more after this 